Hey Google, please turn the lights on. Welcome or welcome back to our channel. Um, first and foremost, I must start by saying thank you so much to all the people who have been texting me um, and us and saying how much you're enjoying the series so far. Um, it really means a lot to us and it gets us very excited that you are also excited um, for us. Um, at the same time, as they say, the pressure is getting worse and I am just like, I really hope that the um, outcome is going to match your expectations um, of course it's just us making our home and sharing our journey but um, it's fun to share um, and we are now in our house and we've been living here for about two weeks now um, which is very different um, but it's also so nice to finally be here we've gotten very used to it and of course there's still some things that are in the works um, but also from the last thing you saw there is a lot of differences so it also made it a bit more difficult um, to choose what to show you next um, and how much to show you of everything um, so I decided that it would be a good idea to show you the living room which is where I am right now um, and I will show you the kitchen and the bedroom too um, but I'm not going to show you the bathroom um, or the toilet the bathroom is actually coming along very well but it has like it's actually basically finished it just needs a few finishing touches so I thought that won't be too much of a difference if I show you that now and then show you some of that later anyway let's go did somebody say big box delivery day oh yeah I got a big box yes I do I got a big box how about you yes we got a couch. Where is the couch? Okay, we've got a couch. And we've got pillows and mattresses. <laughs>
Babe, say moving day. Hey, it's moving day. What's that? That is Friday's dog. Woohoo! Can you move your head back for a second? Friday's weekend. What is that? Een <laughs> opladen. <laughs> no, dat. Deze? No, left. Down. <laughs> It's a gargoyle. So, first and foremost, we have our living room. Here, of course, we've got the beautiful blue wall that you saw in the last video. We're pretty much done with the living room. Um, there are just, of course, like I said, a few things, but uh, here's the grand reveal. So over here, we've got this lovely um, plant that was given to us by some friends um, as a housewarming gift, and it fits in so, so perfectly over here. Uh, we have our TV station, um, yeah, funny story about a lot of these things, but I'm not going to share too much right now. I just want to give you guys an impression of how it's looking so far. So we've got this beautiful TV cabinet, and the only thing on the wall right now is this clock, um, but we're really happy with it. We wanted a wooden clock so badly, so we were very happy when we found this one, which is wooden and black and ties, um, matches very nicely with these other things. We've got the door leading outside. Right now we've got a curtain covering it. I'm not gonna show you out there because it's a big mess. Um, and then we've got these two blue chairs. So the other one is behind me. These chairs were some that David had, uh, have, has had for a while, but they really make the place feel so much more comfortable and more homely because they look very well loved. Um, and then we've got this, uh, our windowsill, which is still being worked on. So do you remember that flower that we got not so long ago? Look at how she's blossoming. Would you look at that beautiful amaryllis? <laughs> Shout out to our neighbor because this is actually so pretty. Um, it has grown very, very fast. Um, and then we've got just a few more um, little knickknacks on the windowsill um, just to make it more lively. <laughs> um, And that's something that still keeps changing. So this is how it's looking for now, but there's no guarantee that it will look like that um, in the near future. Then over here, we've got our coffee table, um, which is one that matches with the, um, the TV cabinet. Um, Yeah, and there is the second chair, like I said. Over here we have um, put up some of the cards, or actually all the cards that we received um, for our new house. So this is just a temporary setup just to make bring some life to the room um, because as you can see, the walls around here are still pretty white as we're still looking for picture frames for all our lovely pictures. Um, and over here, we have our beautiful, beautiful couch. We bought this couch from Ikea. Um, it's one of the couches we actually looked at in the Ikea episode, if you watch that. Um, however, the one we had looked at then had the extension over here, um, but we decided to just go for the long one. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it's actually a really comfortable couch and we absolutely love it. And then lastly, in the living room, we've got the dining corner over there. So we've got this table um, and right now we've got our pictures just propped up um, on the chairs behind over there. Um, and we've got our picnic basket on here and the cookie jar and the tea box um, just to warm it up a little bit so this is how the room is looking so far i almost forgot to show you we have these this beautiful light fixture which was one of the lights that we saw in the first episode if you saw that um we actually really like this and we were very lucky to have got it and found it on sale so i'll just give you a quick overview of how 
the room is looking. The living room is actually the most completed room as in it's basically um, completed. There are just a few like very very small things that we need to add to it um, and do to it to bring it all together um, but we'll share more of that later as soon as we've done it but basically this is the most completed room and we are absolutely we are absolutely impressed with how it's turned out so let's go to the next room as i said i'm not going to show you these rooms as they're still a work in progress but perhaps we can pop into the pantry we are very glad to um, I have shelves in here finally and as you can see the shelves are very filled up and we've got this lovely carpet on the floor so the pantry too is basically done coming this way we have our hallway entry um, we still don't have floors here but we have made some progress so we've got this coat hanging rack over here um, which is perfect for um, this space because it's narrow and doesn't take up too much space so that's how it's looking right now and we've got this stunning mirror um, which we actually really really love um, and it's one of the first items we bought because we were both um, truly in love with it um, and it's the perfect height <laughs> Moving on to the kitchen, but before we do, perhaps I should share something really quickly about the kitchen. We bought a stove um, about a week ago and we were very excited to have it set up, but only it turned out that the, the electrical fittings in the house are not suitable enough for that stove. Um, it was too advanced basically for the system in the house um, so unfortunately we sadly had to return it I was a bit sad because we didn't know what we would find and where we would get it however just this morning we got a new delivery of our brand new stove um, which is basically it looks almost exactly the same as the previous stove um, but this one is slightly lower and it should be able to work with our system so we're very excited that we finally got one David actually um, bought it in an auction so pretty impressed that we were actually able to get one that is very similar to the original one that we liked so I'm gonna um, walk you into the kitchen and I'll show you what that's looking like um, so far, um, the kitchen is also coming together quite nicely. We have this beautiful vinyl mat in um, as the floor. We went for it because we wanted something really funky and cool, um, something blue um, to bring our blue kitchen to life, um, just something different too. Um, it looks a little bit like tiles, but I think because there are so many um, because there's so many different components, it's almost easy to tell that it's vinyl, but it's actually really perfect and we couldn't be more happy. An update on our yellow wall. So it's looking pretty good or maybe we're just getting used to it. Right now we've got this little stool set over here um, with these flowers, which I actually brought with me from Zambia. I've had them for forever. They're dried flowers and they just go perfectly in the room and um, we've got our teapot and just a few other little things over there um, we do plan on having a bar counter over there um, we do have the chairs already but we still have to make the counter so for now the chairs are sitting over here because we didn't have a stove we were actually cooking on a gas stove um, so that's the little gas camping stove that we've been using. Um, right now, I've just put a few random things in the window. And over here, we've got this um, shelf, which we have been using um, because it fits perfectly in this corner. However, we have it's most likely going to be temporary while we figure out um, how we're going to work the shelves into the rest of the room. And of course, yes, we've got a fridge now and a microwave. Um, both old but they work perfectly fine um, and we've got the bins tucked away in the corner over there so that is the kitchen moving on to the next room which is our bedroom so first of all we've got this mirror this gigantic mirror um, which we found in a second-hand shop um, it's a huge mirror and we're still figuring out where we're going to put it for now I just put it in this corner um, oh, let me 
pan around this way so our bed is over here um oh yes of course you haven't seen the bed so this bed is the bed um that we saw in the ikea episode we really love that it came with these cushions um so you can sit up in bed and it makes it just adds the character of the bed the bed frame itself is something that we both really really loved it's yeah very simple but it's got some character to it um, and we really like that um we actually as you can see have two mattresses it's quite a clever hack so our bed is 160 um in width and we bought two single mattresses of 80 um and they actually fit in very perfectly because of course the bed frame um they, it sits in the frame so they can stay together and we were very very um glad that we went with this option david was very clever and um found a deal online um where you could buy one mattress and get one free and the price of the mattresses combined was way way cheaper than a single 160 mattress so we're very glad that we went with that walls are still looking very plain but we are not rushing into anything we want to take our time to see what um, will work in the space and what we're going to put say for instance here if we're going to put a rack or another dresser or things like that this is a matching stool from the one in the kitchen and it actually goes well with this table which i'm using as my vanity which was also from david's collection um yeah as you can see we've got some temporary nightstands um as we are still trying to find nightstands that work for us and our budget so we're not rushing because these work for now um but yeah that's something that will change at some point and now i wanted to show you my favorite favorite feature about our room which is this lamp um this is a swinging lamp which can extend and so you can have it in a variety of setups um and you can use it for reading at night which is what i like to do um so it's a very old school type swing lamp and i really am happy with that this is something that we got from a second hand shop um which is why we don't have one on the other side um but we do have this little one which we also got from the same shop which matches pretty perfectly so couldn't be more happy with that <laughs> our nice cute little quirky lamps all right so there you have it everyone those are the rooms that i wanted to show you for today we are um actually feeling very at home which is the most important thing um and it's been such a fun journey of putting things together things that are old things that are new um things that we found in second hand shops and we are going to do a more detailed video at some point sharing just exactly what we got from where um especially with the big ticket items there are so many fun surprises um coming your way as to how we actually came to get some of the items that we have um yeah what else did i want to say or oh, we will share um a bit more about what has inspired um, our home decor and what has inspired us to decorate this way um i did mention in the previous video that it is somehow inspired by zambian sun by the zambian sun or whatever um, i'm not really sure where i was going with that but what i meant to say is that it's somehow inspired by zambia because that was our first home together um that has been my home so of course we want to bring about elements of the culture of the scenery and of our travels through zambia so that is somehow the um main overall inspiration for the house decor however there are other elements or other places that we have got inspiration from um, for our house and a lot of it has actually happened as we've been going along in the journey so um, it's not all that we we didn't plan it all out a lot of it has been made up as we've made um, our way through the process of making this a home um, but that's what makes it more exciting and we really can't wait to share um, a bit more about the inspirations and so on in um, the next video in the next few videos so yeah hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to subscribe um so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you again very soon bye